Brittany Knappenberger says her twin Ashley was always special. She was quiet, she was selfless, um, and, and she was always the hardest worker in the room. The sisters grew up in Alliance, Ohio. Ashley joined the ROTC in college, deployed to Afghanistan with an elite special ops unit, gathering intelligence from women and children, culturally a job men couldn't do. So secret and dangerous, her family had no idea. Then, in October 2011, a call from Ashley's husband. All he said was her, her name, and my only comment was, you know, is she alive? And he said no. Lieutenant Ashley White Stumpf was killed by an IED, leaving a hole in her sister's heart. Just utterly heartbreaking. On this Veterans Day, Ashley's service honored in the new Museum of the Army, her face etched into one of 41 pylons, a tribute to our nation's oldest military service. Within the Army, the people are our treasure, and, and we tell that here in this museum. This sword used in the battle that inspired the Star-Spangled Banner. From World War I, a tank riddled with 1,300 bullet holes. From World War II, postcards from the infantry, a D-Day landing craft. From the war in Iraq, a soldier on patrol. A history framed by bravery and sacrifice that will not be forgotten. She's going to continue to touch the lives um, of others, young and old, and she's leaving a lasting impact on people. Lieutenant Ashley White Stumpf was just 24. We honor her and all who have served. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here. And click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.